Well, swimming and summer fun, of course, go hand in hand, but after a dramatic rescue yesterday on the Connecticut River, enjoying a dip can turn dangerous quickly if you're not careful. 22 News reporter Sydney Snow explains how to stay safe when swimming in the river. A group of Marines and Marine recruits rescued a man in the Connecticut River Saturday afternoon. The situation could have ended very differently and serves as a reminder of how dangerous swimming in the river can be. 22 News went to the South Hadley Fire Department to find out what swimmers should be on the lookout for before swimming in the Connecticut River. Always in the Connecticut River, you have to be careful of the current, um, which way it's going as far as strength and whatnot. We haven't had a whole lot of rain lately, so it's not super strong right now. We always have to be careful of the uh, branches, trees, uh, floating objects, anything like that in the water. If you are planning on going out onto the water, make sure you tell someone what your plan is. Tell them how long you plan to be out on the water and where you're going to go exactly, just in case of an emergency. One local resident has been around the Connecticut River his whole life, and he said you always need to be on the lookout when swimming. You got to have eyes on both sides of your head because there's boats all over the place, like you say. They're, you know, coming up behind you and in front of you. It's also important to remember that the river's current is constantly changing. The current and depth of the water can change daily dependent on the weather and other conditions. In South Hadley, Sydney Snow, 22 News.